Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the process of submitting deadhead for an, a Jiro job. That's when you see this little exclamation point here, and it says, you know, your invoices must be sent from the Jiro support website. So what you do is you're going to pull up your Jiro main phone number, which is 1-800-541. You're going to call them up. It's going to be a little recording. It's going to ask you about if you're calling about a call-in process, press 1. And then it's going to ask you for this number here. Five zero nine three five five four zero six. No. Five zero nine three five five four zero six. Yes, that's correct. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing great. I just have a PO here that I need to update for Deadhead Miles. Sure. Yep, the PO number is 5093-55406. Yes, I want to update uh, Deadhead Miles. Just want to add the Deadhead Miles to it. Sure. Now I'm on a brief hold. Okay, what did you put in there? At what rate? Okay, normally what we do is we'll add in the actual amount of miles and the rate of the miles and put that into the uh, into the invoice. It's 48 miles at $1 a mile for a total of $48. at a dollar a mile for a total of $48. Then I, I just need a approval name and a, an extension for that. So this is good that this is happening because she goes, oh, I added that in there for you. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. You added what and where? Um, you always want to make sure that you tell them how many miles it is based on um, your mileage here. With a Giro, they like to do whole numbers. So I rounded it up to 48 miles and a dollar a mile for $48. What they're not going to do with the Jiro is they're not going to update this invoice. It goes into their system over here, and then we really never see it. So always want to make sure you get your numbers updated here. We'll update those numbers in Towbook. 
and we'll have the approval name and extension number for this particular job. I'm just here to tell you right now that this is not a brief hold. Uh, this phone call has been going on for 19 minutes already. What I'm going to do to be prepared when she comes back within the name and approval and extension number is I'm going to click edit invoice and I'm going to be prepared to type it right in here in the section where it says invoice notes. $48, 48 miles at $1 a mile. The, eat, the job is done. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I don't off the top of my head. Let's see. Uh, that one was, I think it looks like it was about an hour and a half from where we were at. Something like that. Okay, so this one's kind of interesting, and I'm actually glad this happened. Um, when improving deadhead miles, you can see here's, where's the deadhead miles? Deadhead. Then, oh, there he goes. And then the quantity, however many miles it is at the rate, a dollar. But what they did this time was, make sure I X that out, remove that. Instead of deadhead miles, what they wanted to do was approve a fuel surcharge, which at the end of the day, who cares? 48, oops, that's not a four, 48 at a dollar. And they gave me an extension number, Amber 28587. So that's approved. What I'll do is I'll save that. <clears throat> then... We're going to go to tow book. We're going to look for the 2021 Maroon Chevy Blazer, which should be right there. And we're going to modify that. And we're going to go, actually, we're going to go with the fuel, cost of fuel, 48 at a dollar. So that's 161.60. Oops, wrong one. Uh, now that's 163.60. 20 so what's going on here 47.6 mm. so book was wrong here so now it says 163.20 that's something you know like i've mentioned before you have to kind of watch out for um so that looks good we've got that over here we'll save that oops made a mistake we're going to modify that and in the billing notes we're just going to put that name and extension so we have a record of it there. We also have added it in here where we have a record right there. And we're gonna go ahead and approve that and send it over. Now, the thing about submitting these invoices when we go over to the um, Ajiro site where we have to actually submit the invoice is they don't show up for like 24 hours. And this one was just completed about three hours ago so we're gonna have to wait for it to be uh just show up in their site over there and then once it does we'll go through the process of submitting that invoice and do that video all right there we go and if uh been any help for you if you're not using towbook already there's a link below if you want to click on it um you sign up i get a free month of towbook and then you get to use towbook and then you can have some of the best software out there for you know managing your roadside and towing business thanks